do. Welcome back, folks. I was going to uh, try to stop at the end of that last video, my current recording session, but then I noticed that I had been recording video 11. I think it would be much cooler to stop on even 12. Well, maybe I should have stopped while I was ahead, you know. <coughs> That's a lot of death. Can you guys please give me a second to rest? How many generic soldiers are here? I'm very rare for me to kill that many in a row without scooping up and getting killed. <coughs> I mean, you know, all in one shot. And there's still something lit red. Threatening. More stomach rumbling, Spencer? Screw the hiker, I have any aircraft missiles. I'm holding on to those in case I come across a boss that I've forgotten about. Where am I meant to be going? Okay, I have to get over there somehow. Do not know with certainty how that's gonna happen. We live in a dark, dark post-apocalyptic world where NVIDIA signs are everywhere, folks. Oh crap, that's a holy crap. I need to not be hanging here exposed. Yeah, but how are you going to get in here, holy crap? <laughs> He's just kind of hanging around in the room by himself, going, Ow! Whoop me by a commando says I just killed a polygraph, baby! Ow! What? Who is shooting at me, and from where are they shooting at me? From over here somewhere. Alright. Attention! I'm shooting at you! Attention! Alright. Anyway, like I said, a dark future where uh, NVIDIA rules the world. Oh crap, I didn't realize there was like multiple guys over here. For some reason I thought there was only going to be one guy. Where I got that impression, I don't know. It's in mine, Shiza! Time for me to get punched. Once again, I see a red spot on the uh, radar, but the game doesn't seem to care. <gasps> the Dot Bionic Purge, Part 1. The Bionic Prohibition Act. Commonly referred to as the Bionic Purge, the Bionic Prohibition Act was issued by President Jerko. The law sprung from an escalating unrest amongst the public due to the suffering from laws were only offered to soldiers working under the earth, blah blah blah. What does it actually uh, do, this Bionic Prohibition Act? Does it like prohibit any new bionic soldiers from being made, or does it like make the existing bionic soldiers have to be killed? Because that I can see would be kind of a problem for the bionics. <laughs> Okay, once again, these blue icons over there are tempting me to death. And 
I've got more minefields crossing action. Okay. Autobots, reload. And I guess at some point I deactivated this minefield and I forgot about it. Do, do, do. Uh, which one of these is closer? They all seem really far away. to be going exactly. Over there somewhere. Okay. Swinging along. Singing a song. How did I... I did grab that thing. I was about to freak out that I didn't grab that thing. But I did grab that thing. So it's all good. I... Where am I meant to be going? Okay. That was a really nasty place to put a uh, way marker, but I guess I'm alive, so. no darkness to make occasionally say stupid so I guess super joke oh well no I guess I can't be too upset it is like a safe point so that's good there's a super Joe look uh, I'm sorry about throwing you in jail for like five years you want to get a beer after this is over yeah sure no problem I mean no grr, grumbly hate the government hate everyone I am angry my wife is dead or missing if you play by a commander rearmed, Boba the Vulture and I have, you know, tentatively planned to do together at some point as a let's play. Uh, they basically take the entire gameplay of Bionic Commando and recreate it faithfully, but they add minor plot elements like the fact that Spencer's wife is missing and he doesn't know what happened to her. And it's all to set up the epic story of this game where we've already seen him flash back to her once. And uh, did Super Joe like promise to give him information on her if he does what he's told? <coughs> Something like that. They basically seem to be jerking Spencer around with this whole thing. But yeah, that's um, that's our Spencer. He went from being just a sort of anonymous 8-bit hero with cool gameplay, and we didn't really know or need to know much about his story, to being Mr. You know, angsty, I've been betrayed by my own country, convicted of crimes I didn't commit. If you can find me, I may be able to help you. I am the team. components are arriving uh. as we speak. You? Mm. Everything's on schedule. You just consider yeah. yourself with the drill. From the record, oh, there's the that FSA prisoner they mentioned. Team, sirs. The pilot was the only one that survived. Name, rank, he had much better sir, airbags. It's a big metal spider thingy. Why do you suppose I would want anything from you? Oh, my Lieber. This is her evil German dude. Spencer? Cinema's all over the place suddenly. You. 
I heard those scumbags in the government executed you. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question, man. I'm a zombie. But I'm afraid I already and know. Who the hell are you anyway? You don't know anything about me. I sure as hell don't know who taught you to pull a gun on a ranking it's officer. Been a long time since I served under you and your superiors. Instead, you worked for terrorists, Rare. and I worked for myself. That says different. Just shoot him. They may have given you your arm back, but the government treated the rest of us like machines. They tried to yeah. dismantle us like we were. We are human beings, damn it! And the people in this city, Hands off what the would they? We have a right to fight back! Taking away my legs, to kill and lots and taking lots and away lots of my people. life! You trade millions of lives for your own? How many people would have ended well, up for my legs. Cares? Because some government fearmonger is afraid of a new technology! You deserve a chair, Mag! <gasps> but the one I'm thinking of Shall doesn't have acting. wheels! <sighs> You're no freedom <sighs> fighter! You're just like me, a killer. Then why haven't I I've killed entire cities before. Yet? Sniper! This is an over. Sniper Wolf. Yeah, well, I hope not because we haven't understood anything that never happened there. Is. War never changes. All right, folks, I just dumped a whole bunch of plot on us out of nowhere. Uh, who the hell's Meg? You know, for us to find out by reading the dossiers, that's cheating. They really should explain uh, in the game itself. So, Meg is some chick who used to know who had bionic legs and became a terrorist. And, um, you know, if somebody wants to mess with your legs, what else can you do but kill millions of people? I totally see their side in this. Alright, now where am I meant to be going? I'm meant to be going over there somewhere. Hmm. Oh, pretty cool. I'm supposed to be. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Mr. Well. Spencer. I'm oh, sorry. He hasn't said Mr. Spencer yet, but the German dude has shown up. He will be amusing later when he constantly goes, Mr. Spencer! Yay. Uh, first playthrough, I carefully crept down there, making sure I didn't fall to my death. Only to find out that you have to get to the very, very, very bottom of the area to continue, so that was kind of Lot stuff. Joe, come in. I have video data ready for transmission. Good, but there's far too much data to transmit on this connection. You're close to the FSA monument building. The rooftop is the place you're most likely to get a clear signal. So we've got a new little lame uh, objective. Joe, I've got video data to transmit. I want to put my picture online on my dating profile. This is Joe. Your videos are too big, and the YouTube advanced uploader's down. You're going to have to save them crappy, low-quality files. Yeah, apologies to anybody who's watching The Warriors. Uh, there was, you may have noticed if you've been trying to watch it full screen for the maximum viewing experience, there was a huge drop in picture quality in the last couple of videos because it wouldn't let me upload anything that was uh, big. I wasn't happy about it. I didn't like it at all. Yeah, so I fell really, really far. Pretty cool. Now there's water down there, so I have to stop just jumping as low as I possibly can. Fissure. Ascension City was built on one of the largest and most dangerous uh, geothermic fissures in the history of the world. Ascension City was not really a very safe place, even before it was attacked. Although I guess the plot... They do have like a big mining machine that we're going to see later that's part of the storyline. I don't know why they have a big mining machine, but uh, they do. Terrorists, I mean. It's the Al-Qaeda giant mining thingy of doom. <coughs> yeah, you know, Bionic Commando was always meant to be fighting big comic book cartoony enemies, not like gritty terrorists. I do not approve of this new gritty direction. Gritty, gritty, gritty. Alright, so what are you about? I think I know what's on the other side of that door, and I think we end up coming back to here from the other side much later. <gasps> Acquire purple matrix of Iron Commando. What? What did it say? I 
I had I got the purple matrix and bionic commander reloaded this, I think I did. I'm pretty sure that I got that at some point. Maybe not. I'll have to read up on that. But if you have to play Bionic Commando Matrix or Bionic Commando Rearm to do anything with that, then it's probably some kind of, like, you know, optional bonus crap that doesn't have anything to do with the game. And considering how thin on the ground this game is with plot, I doubt there's plot secrets back there. It's probably just, you know, challenge status. Oh, I've gone over. All right, folks. Well, this is Mysterious JG signing off.